Well, although Penny said, you know, we're sorry to see the girls go, sorry to see the girls can't participate in Head Start this year. However, um, you've got some goals ahead of you and we think that the self-sufficiency program might be a, a good fit. And I said, I'll take it because <laughs> there's nothing like having uh, good resources, you know, especially at your fingertips. So that's how I got connected. And that's kind of current, present day where I am. Girls are in daycare. I'm a full-time student. And I have Jadira as my coach in the self-sufficiency program. That relationship, it's, and it's interesting because um, as much as I felt connected, even from that very first meeting with Joy, and just like, hey, you're in WIC, you should think about Head Start. Of course, we only, I only see Joy every time the girls have an appointment. But even still, I felt very connected to her. I felt like she cared. I felt like um, there was a relationship there. And I say that to say that it only got better. So <laughs> with Jadira, I, you know, meet with her regularly. We can talk about my goals. We can talk about things that are maybe just on my mind. And I think that as you're transitioning through certain life phases, that's super important as well. To not just know that there's a person that might help you with something here or there, but to know that there's a person that's listening, to know that there's someone that cares, to know that there's someone who is supportive, because sometimes um, the things that you're transitioning through are more than just, oh, I might need assistance with, you know, this specific thing. Sometimes I need to know that there is a, a legit support, a legit person. Um, you know, when I met Latanya, you know, um, pretty much Latanya was on her way. You know, Latanya was like, you know, school and, you know, this is what I want to do. And these are the things that I want to accomplish. You know, she already had her goal set of what she wanted to do, right? Which is great because this is Latanya's I'm only at all for the right, right? So the thing is that Latanya was like, you know, these are the goals that I want to do today. You know, I major in psychology. She's like, I want to work. I want to finish my college education. I lived in Baltimore for literally 40 years before I came to Pennsylvania. And most people would think that it would, would have made more sense to stay. I had just had twins, their dad had passed away. I was going to need all the social capital I could get to make sure that um, I could show up for my kids. But as I went through grief counseling, I realized that a lot of my social capital uh, wasn't that great. It wasn't that valuable. And that's kind of where it came from. I ended up writing a book. Um, before I moved to Pennsylvania. And I actually talked about that a little bit in the book, just kind of about having the right people in the right places in your life. Um, sometimes it was better to, way better to have four quarters and a hundred pennies. Being able to partner with people who, who want to see you succeed, who want to see whatever it is that they can provide. Like even when I think about my initial appointments, um, kind of connected with CPC through WIC, um, Joy wasn't there to just give me a WIC voucher. Like I legitimately felt like she cared. When I meet with Jadira, it's more than just, hey, can we get you, I don't a, a gas card or money for your school books or something like that. It is, how are you? How are the girls? Like there is a partnership. Like we are, we realize that we're doing more than just, we're gonna see you graduate. We're touching your life. Um, and that's super important in that partnership to know that if I, if for some crazy reason I fall, I'm not just falling into an abyss. I am falling into the arms of people that want to see me succeed, that want to support me, that have that caring heart that have that spirit of we are going to be there to catch you. Uh, what true partnership to to me with Latanya, that's what that means. Um, being there with her, being part of that journey, but not not taking away those experiences that she may have and not doing the work for her. And that I think makes a huge difference, right? In someone who's doing the work for you or someone who's right beside you as a partner, as a true, true partner. For 
for me, progress was simply growth. And I know that that sounds so generic, <laughs> but I think that it was, so the, and I, I kind of pulled that from when I went to grief counseling. So I ended the, the title of the book that I wrote was called Your Queendom Awaits. And the point that I wanted to make at the very end of the book was, Queendoms are, they look different. Success looks different for everyone. So maybe someone is like, I am going to start a nonprofit. Maybe someone is like, I am going to have 10 children and stay at home with them and homeschool them. But either way, it's it's your queendom, it's your kingdom, it's, it's whatever you want. Um, it's the thing that you are deserving of. And for me, it was growth going back to school for my bachelor's degree. And I'm just like, I am 40 years old getting a bachelor's degree. What in the world? But it wasn't about the timeline. It was about the growth. So that progress was just being able to stand up and say, okay, I'm 40 and I'm going to go get my bachelor's degree. Okay, I'm 40 and I have twins and I'm a single parent and I'm going to raise them to be amazing women. Yes, I am 40 and I left, you know, my hometown of however many years, but I am going to build a beautiful home and a beautiful life, you know, here in this new town. To me, that's what progress is. Tanya Porter is progress to me because not only is she working towards her progress and towards her future, she's also thinking about her community. She's also thinking about the people who are behind her so that she can give back those same opportunities that were given to her. Advocacy is one of the big things. Advocating for people who, like me, felt like they couldn't do more. They couldn't have more. They weren't worth more. And I want to be part of the, I want to be in that choir of people who are willing to tell them that you absolutely can do more and have more and be more. I want to kind of be added to that. Mm -hmm.